Thanks for coming to speak with me, Traveler. I've been thinking about this place. Since we still don't know just what kind of danger we're up against, we can't afford to delay any longer. We have to find the Conqueror of Demons as soon as possible. Don't you think it's a strange coincidence that as soon as you told us about the Conqueror of Demons, we heard his voice in that place? It almost seems deliberate. As if something was trying to convince us that the Conqueror of Demons was there in order to lure us into the unknown. I have a theory, but I can't tell the others just yet. I don't want anyone to panic. Judging from the Conqueror of Demons' reactions, I think that he was somewhere else, but his voice and image were projected to our location. Is it possible that we've entered into a chaotic space? We're seeing things in people that shouldn't be here, even ghosts. And we don't feel hungry because the state of our bodies is suspended. It's as if time itself has stopped for us. If that's true, it means we've entered into a place where normal logic doesn't apply. When you put it all together, everything points towards one possibility. This is a place where time and space are thrown into chaos. And yet, if it's truly chaotic, how did we find our friend's voice even when we had no idea where he was? It doesn't make any sense. Unless this space wanted us to hear it. Which brings me to my next point. I also have a theory about our encounter with the Conqueror of Demons earlier. I submit that we didn't actually see the Conqueror of Demons. He was somewhere else. But his status was transmitted to us through a, some kind of mind-bending spatial alteration. Traveler, you said you saw the Abyss in that room, didn't you? At first glance, that door may seem like a prank. It shows you whatever you're afraid of, but if it manages to lure you inside, there's no way of knowing what might be in there. One minute, it's playing a joke to get you to lower your guard. The next, the danger is real, and it's trapped you. This space is a powerful opponent. It wants to use our minds against us. But I'm not gonna sit here and do nothing. Do you remember that small spatial rift next to the dissolving ground? It felt like spatial magic, but it seemed much more powerful than usual. When we saw that illusion of the Conqueror of Demons, it seemed like he wasn't expecting our spaces to intersect at all, and was even more surprised that we could hear and see him. I think that this space purposefully transmitted the Conqueror of Demons' voice to lure us into a trap. But I also think it didn't count on that spatial rift happening. In other words, the fact that we saw and spoke with the Conqueror of Demons was never part of its plan. Yes. Also, I had a good look around after coming back. I have a feeling that these chaotic spaces are constantly intersecting with each other, meaning that anything is possible. I think this gives us an opportunity. If the space creates phenomena meant to deceive us based on our imaginations, then we have to keep imagining, Traveler. If we try to stay calm and listen carefully, maybe, just maybe, We'll hear the Conqueror of Demons' voice again. <laughs> Can you feel that? Let me see. I think it's here. And... break! <sighs> I secretly learned Yelan's illusion-breaking method without her knowing. <laughs> really didn't expect that to work. The sound came from behind this illusion. Let's go in and take a look.